Hey y'all, it's Confolito. Got another one here for you today. This is going to be me and my T28 HTC. Now, I haven't been having very much luck in this tank, but I decided to pull it out and give it another run and see what we could do. Because everybody says they have such good time in it, and I thought I'd give it a go. Now today I kind of wanted to talk about not necessarily playing the type of tank you are, but playing the type of tank you need to be. So as you can see, I'm rolling up here to A because I see that those mediums are rolling out to the ruins and that nobody is coming up here to cap A. Now on Supremacy, this is a pretty easy base to capture and you can see that they have already got B. So we need to make sure that we get some cap points or else if it comes down to the wire, we're going to lose it. Now I'm just poking around here a little bit, just trying to see if I can spot anybody. Now that KB-1S pops up and I'm really hoping that he's going to roll up over that hill. And I try and zoom in, get one right into his upper plate. Now. As I'm going right through here, you can see I'm really turning the tank, trying to use that gun arc. That's really the specialty of this tank, is that gun arc. And as you can see that red, the red bottom arrow way up in the sky, gun depression is not what it has. I'm able to get one more shot into him, nice roll of 322. Now, we need to finish him off. He's a big gun that we can take right out of the, right out. Now, you can see there, that gun depression is horrible. Now this KV-2 is kind of blocking me because I'm trying to angle this and turn this just so that they can only see the front of my tank. Because for those little guns, it's going to be impenetrable. Now you can see those little hips sticking out on the side. That's what they're going to be able to pen. So as long as I'm angled, they don't have any shots on, on those. Now, as I'm going around here, I'm just trying to be patient, just base some shots, keep them there, trying to hold them, and see if we can just play it safe. Now you can see I'm getting bounce after bounce after bounce. Now, they do take off my track, which I kind of was expecting, but I'm in no rush. I'm just holding it here. So I did not want to use any repair kit. And that's something that, we re that a lot of people really need to learn, is that as soon as you get track, you don't need to take and use your repair kit. Now, you can see that this 3001P is coming around, so I'm trying to get that traverse going as fast as I can while using the rock to hide from the national. Now, he keeps going backwards and forwards, but because of that amazing gun arc, I am able to keep him in front of me. Now he's going back and forth. I need one more shot. Nice little ammo rack to finish him up. Now, I was not playing it very well. I was trying to face hug him and I let that Nash horn get a shot into me. Now, as I roll forward here, I see that that LTTB is dropping down. Now I'm afraid that he's going to circle me and get by me. So I want to stay as close to this rock as possible. But as I turn, he tracks me. But luckily he does not want to know me and he's just moving on his way. Now, I see that that Y5 is going down there to help him, so I try to go down there so that I can get one more shot and help take him out so he doesn't take out our Y5 as he's a one-shot. Now, I probably shouldn't have pushed down this far, but it just happens when you're in the heat of the game, you want that kill. Now, you can see that Churchill 7 is red as can be. The pen is good on this tank, but it is not amazing. I believe I am running the gun rammer, which gives me a little bit extra reload. So... As I keep trying to zoom in, you can see that the dispersion can be quite large and it is not meant for sniping, even though it's a TD. So you can play this tank quite aggressively as long as you play it right and you have something to poke around, like a building or a rock, so that you can just hide those hips that are poking out. Now, I remember where that Nash Horn is and I know that I can get some juicy HE into it. So as I start moving across here, I have been playing this game like a medium tank, not necessarily like a TD. I went up, I spotted, I got a cat boring, and now I'm booking it across the map, given it's only at 30 kilometers an hour, but where are my mediums? Nowhere to be found. Now I'm telling them to go grab C, we'll probably win on cat points, but I don't want to risk it in case somebody dies. So as I start pushing up here, I'm looking around, trying to find that natural, and I see him, and he goes down into the river, but I do not have the gun depression, you can see, and just as I come over, I'm able to get a nice good roll into him, a 419. Now, he was going to shoot me. There's not a whole lot I could do. I tried to do a little bit of wiggling. I get one more shot trying to go for a ram to finish him up, and we just can't get it. But, man, look at that 4,519 damage. Mastery. Now, this is my first mastery in this tank. And a steel wall. Now, you can see that the closest one behind me was 860. Talk about a carry. Even though I only got one kill, I got 1,300 base XP. And you can see I shot a lot of shots. A lot of them pen. Some of them didn't. But I was able to play that game like a medium, even though I was a TD. And I am not quick at all. But sometimes you just have to adapt to the game that you're given. Sometimes as a light tank, you need to be a TD and just snipe across the map because that's what you have shots on. And if you've got shots, take them. 
No sense in going out right in front of them if you're a light tank and getting killed. So as we go back here and we look at the model of the tank really quick, you can see those little hips right there are what I'm talking about. Now those are pretty easy to pen, but if you use that gun arc, you can see if the building's right there, it'll cover up your little hips, and then you can use that and it'll, you'll be pretty much impenetrable to most tier, tier sixes, pretty much all tier sixes, and most of the tier sevens. So as you guys play this tank, and as you guys are playing in general, just remember that you don't need to be the type of tank that your little icon says. Be the type of tank that your team needs. My team needed a medium, so that's what I needed to be, and that's how I played. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all, and we'll see you in the next one.